Getting ready to decide things here in Las Vegas. Kyle Larson currently has a two and a half second lead on Brad Keselowski, three time Vegas winner. They were just looking at um, Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin. Busch took the spot from Denny. Twenty twenty final standings, twenty twenty one current standings. We got a bunch of surprises. Michael McDowell in fourth. McDowell, Christopher Bell did not qualify for the playoffs. Larson, of course, got kicked out of the sport after using a racial slur in one of his live streams. But he's taken a uh, behavioral class. He's been reinstated into the sport, and he's now eight laps away from getting his first win back in NASCAR as a full-time driver. Chase Elliott currently running in 13th. He's had a whale of a day, unfortunately. He was running up there near the front, battling for the stage one win, then had a skirting issue around the jack area on the right side of his race car. Then he got loose and spun out, got some more damage. If it hasn't been one thing, it's been another for Chase. And you'll have days like that. So, At least the good news for him is next week we're heading to the desert in Phoenix. A place where we know he can win. And he has won there. Remember, the championship. Last November. That lead has now grown to three and a quarter seconds now on Brad Keselowski. But you can't rule out another caution. Sun's coming back out. Track's going to be slicker. Traffic ahead for all the lead cars. Alex Bowman had a flat tire, which caused him to make an unscheduled stop. And... He nearly got sideswiped by Anthony Alfredo. Ac according to Larry's trends, there's a big time chance that we could get a late race caution and have an overtime restart. And I've seen some of the restarts here at Las Vegas throughout this weekend. They have been crazy. They can fan out to four or five wide. So it could get crazy. Kyle Larson has finished second on mile and a half nine times. That is the most in NASCAR history without a win. He's four laps away from changing that, though. Currently has a three and a quarter second lead on Brad Keselowski. Kyle Busch's momentum has kind of stalled. He was the fastest car on the racetrack for a little bit, but... Uh, after that, he's kind of stalled out. Even if he did still have that run, there wouldn't be enough time under green for him to get there. That number five car has been historic. Guys like Jeff Bodine, Terry Labonte. That's how Hendrick Motorsports got started. Number five returning this year with the return of Kyle Larson. Got a little bit more lap traffic to negotiate here, but uh, we'll see if he can be able to get through it. Two laps to go. It's really going to have to take something to happen now if we're even going to have a shot at something. White flag is in hand. Larson wants to see it. <laughs> Larson's journey in NASCAR has been interesting ever since last spring. White flag, last lap sponsored by Credit One Bank. He got kicked out of NASCAR after a racial slur. Got reinstated this January. Got signed on by Hendrick Motorsports. Not really a lot of full-time sponsors. But now in his fourth race back full-time, 
It's all going to come to fruition for that number five Hendrick Motorsports team. Cashing in in Vegas, out of turn four. Welcome back to NASCAR Victory Lane, Kyle Larson. And Cliff Daniels, first NASCAR Cup Series win as a crew chief. Well deserved for that team. Well deserved. Brad second, Kyle third, Hamlin fourth, Blaney fifth, Truex Bell, Byron Logano, and Eric Jones in the top ten. Eric Jones in the 43. Good run for him. So some new driver crew chief pairings really getting it done for Hendrick Motorsports. William Byron, Rudy Fugel last week. Then Kyle Larson and Cliff Daniels this week. <laughs> Boyer versus Gordon. Getting on again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Also on that back stretch, the Nellis Air Force Base. Now he comes on to the front stretch. And he'll burn it down again. The Fox Sports truck has made it. Well, maybe not the truck, the drone cam. It's made it onto the front stretch. And once Kyle gets out of that race car, we're going to get an interview with him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, congratulations to that kid. Welcome back to the sport. And he's ready to go. Out of the race car he comes to celebrate with the Las Vegas crowd. Kyle Larson wins. We will always remember Ricky Hendrick. The Arizona Desert next week.